All right, so now we're going to put the wheels on the trike and we're going to start with the front. Uh, this is your front fork. Now, on the front of your steering column or your steering axle or stem post is a button. This is a directional button, basically making sure that you put your fork on the right direction. Um, it's not there to hold your fork on. That's what these two screws here are for. It's simply just for you to put the fork, get the fork on in the right position. So what we're going to do is, first off, take your five millimeter and loosen the screws on your fork, the clamping screws, uh, and that'll allow it to open up a little bit more to slide onto the steering axle a little easier. Okay, and then we'll push the button in. And now we'll just get the fork to pop in. Okay, now do not tighten these two up right now. What we need to do is get the front wheel on first. If we tighten these two up, it squeezes this fork together just enough to make it extremely difficult uh, to get the front wheel on the trike. So to make it easier, we're going to flip the trike over. So here's our front wheel axle. Go ahead and take it apart with your five millimeter wrenches. All right, this is your front axle. You've got the axle, the bolt, and two 18 millimeter spacers. Okay, so we're going to take our axle and one of our spacers. We're going to bring the axle in. We're going to set the spacer right there. Take your 7 inch polyurethane wheel and we're going to start feeding the axle through. Now keep in mind that inside the hub of this wheel is a spacer and it might get in the way of you pushing that axle in. You can take an Allen wrench and come in on the other side and kind of wiggle it around if it is interfering and push it on it and uh, it should go on in. Okay, so we've got it started through. Let's put our other, see how my spacer just goes right in? If I had this tightened on the fork, uh, or the, the fork clamp bolts tightened, I would not be able to get this spacer in that easily. Okay, so just kind of hold it in place, push the axle on through that spacer until it touches this other hole. Let's bring our other screw in. And now we've got it started. Take your Allen wrenches. Go ahead and crank it down. You want to snug these up pretty good. Don't over tighten, but just snug them up good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and tighten up our fork clamp bolts. Snug them up pretty good. Don't over tighten them, but just snug them up really well. All right, so now we've got the front end of the trike done. Now we've got to work on putting the rear wheels on the on the trike. So, so now we've got the rear of the trike up. We have our seven inch polyurethane wheels. Here's a better view of our brake cables. Let's make sure they're in place up here, as we were showing you earlier. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to put the rear wheels on the back of the trike. First off, let's take our wheel axle off. Use two 5 millimeter wrenches that are provided in your owner's packet. Got your bolt. You have your two spacers, just like on the front wheel. Okay. So before we put the wheels on, we need to get our brakes set up. First off, you want to look to make sure your cable housing is laid into the frame and the, uh, and the cable stays properly. You can see how it's down in there, our cable's coming through. Next thing you want to do is take the brake cable clamp off, this clamp at the top of the brake pad. There will be a three millimeter wrench provided in your owner's packet, and that's what you use to take these screws out. Now, I wouldn't take both of them out all the way. Loosen one up about halfway out, maybe five or six turns, and then take the other one all the way out. Lay it. Now, before we proceed any further, we want to look at the spring that retracts the brake pad. Uh, first off, you can see this one is not in the right hole. You can see it's actually in the brake axle hole. What we need to do is move it to this little hole right below that. So all we're going to do is just grab the spring, and put it into the hole. Now come over here, Eddie. 
and now we're going to take you can also notice that this spring is not in any hole at all uh, it's actually hooked up down under here these things get banged up a little bit in shipment uh, so little things like this are going to happen and you just need to know how to fix them so we're going to pull the spring back and just put it in that hole just like that so now the brake springs are in the or the brake springs in the right hole so now what we're going to do is now that we've got our clamp set up, our wires in place, we're going to go ahead and take our wheel axle and one spacer. We're going to start it in like that right there. Now what we're going to do is take the brake pad, we're going to flip it up where you're feeling the tension of the spring, and we're going to go ahead and bring the wheel into place, into position. You're going to have to light off the brake pad and you'll feel it pushing on the wheel. And then go ahead and feed your axle through. Remember, there is a spacer in there, so if you have any troubles um, getting it through, then you might have to use a wrench on the other side. Now, this is dropping into place really nice. You can see I can get my spacer in here, and I'm just going to push it on through to the axle, and then start my screw. Now, if this spacer, if you didn't have the space to get that spacer in there easily, you might have to loosen this brake axle just a little bit. So we've got our axle started. Let's get our wrenches on it and go ahead and crank this guy down. We want to snug these up pretty good. There we go, we've got, we've got that wheel on. So. Now we're going to do the brake. <clears throat> Take your brake wire, brake cable, push it through the hole, feeding in line that direction, and you're going to wrap it up and around, spin this brake clamp, get it on this side, and now we're just going to push. You might have to come over here on this side, Eddie, to kind of see this. So you can see we pulled the brake cable through the brake pad. We're going to pull the brake cable up and around, up against the wheel. So go ahead and pull tension on it. And, uh, and up against the wheel. Now just bring this brake clamp over. While you're holding it here, go ahead and drop that three millimeter back in on the other side, and let's go ahead and spin it down and kind of roughly hold this. Actually, we might be able to get the right. So you can see we've got it pulled where we've already, it's right against here, but by the time we tighten things up and that relaxes off, it should clear the wheel just fine. If not, we can make adjustments. Okay, so go ahead and tighten your clamp down. Don't you want to snug these up to where it's got a good pinch on the cable? So now I light off, and you can see it's kind of relaxed off the wheel, and the wheel's spinning just fine. But you can see we have really good brakes. Okay. All right, now let's hop over and do the other side. And uh, so what we'll do is go ahead and take our Wheel axle out. Okay. Let's inspect our springs right here to make sure they're in the right hole. That one's in, that one's in the right hole, so we're good there. Now, our brake. We'll go ahead and take one of the screws out. We'll pull our We'll actually just get it started in there. Now we'll take the axle and one spacer. <clears throat> now we're going to bring the seven inch wheel in. Now let's pull our brake pad. Kind of pull on the brake cable. Oops. All right, let's kind of rough this in a little bit. Let's go ahead and get our screws started back in here. Just so we don't have So, let's go ahead and push this on. Now you can see that spacer is causing interference. All I'm going to do, I can use a wrench and go through and that'll do it. Or I actually have a little tool I created a few years back where, actually let's do it like this. You can go ahead and stick it through there, push it all the way through, and then it lines everything up and that axle comes all the way through. 
Now we've got to get that other spacer in there, so let's push the axle back out far enough. Let's get the spacer in here. Now right here is a case where you can see that the spacer is not going in. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that hanging right there. I'm going to take, now I've got my tools pretty readily available here. So what I'm going to do is loosen this brake axle. I'm going to take a 5 millimeter on this side. Take my 8 millimeter on this side. You can use an adjustable wrench. Um, I'm using an 8 millimeter socket. And I'm just going to loosen this up just a little bit. So now let's see if we've got enough clearance now that will loosen up. And voila. Look at that. That gave us enough clearance to get that other spacer in there. Let's drop our other screw in. Wrench it up with our 5 millimeters. Okay. Now, you really shouldn't do this, but if you have pliers, you can grab this wire with pliers. Just be careful you don't squeeze too hard and damage the wire cable. Um, you know, and fray it out. It just makes for messy cables and problems down the road. So you want to be careful that you don't damage that wire rope. I know how to do it with my fingers. I've done this so many times. Uh, but if you need to use a pair of pliers or something to pull on that rope, you can do it. So. We're getting these tightened down. <clears throat> okay, now I've got just about the same amount of brake as we do on the other side. That's it. We've got the wheels on, got everything tightened up. Um, brake should be good. I've got the front fork tightened up. Now we want to check a couple of things real quick. So let's go ahead and flip our trike over on the ground. Okay, handlebar height adjustment. You have a quick release clamp right here. <coughs> from, excuse me, from the factory, it's not really, really tight, and it doesn't have to be really, really tight, but we usually have to tighten them up a little bit. So we'll talk about that here in a second. But first, to adjust the height of your handlebars, you open this quick release clamp, or what we call a QR clamp, Pull your handlebars up. Now you can see the spring button just popped out right here. And that's our first position for handlebar height adjustment. You can push it in and go a little bit higher and go a little bit higher. Be careful getting too high. Throws the balance of the trike off. If you're a taller rider, uh, it could make you a little more susceptible to flipping it over backwards. Just be careful of that. I'm going to leave it in the second hole right here. And then we're going to clamp our quick release back. Now, to tighten this quick release, just hold this side, and you're going to turn this knurled knob. You're going to just turn it a little bit to tighten this up to make it clamp just a little bit tighter. OK, so we made a, about a one and a half turn. And then that just clamps it. And there we go. We're all set up. So let's go out and take it for a ride. smoother surfaces. Don't lock your brakes up or else you'll put flat spots on your polyurethane wheels. Remember this T7 convertible, the convertible means it can convert from the 7 inch, you can go to the 6 inch poly wheels, you can go to the 8 inch polyurethane wheels, or you can even mount the 8.5 inch air tires which gives you a tremendous amount of traction uh, and also vibration when you're on a little bit rougher surfaces. Uh, great little machine, good affordable price on it, great starter offer model. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-877-2-TRIKE, or that's 1-877-287-4553. Or visit us online at trikecamperscore.com.